Bitcoin's biggest crash in over two years. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how the largest crash that Bitcoin has witnessed since over two years ago is giving us key insights on how Bitcoin may be about to go into its next major uptrend. Now, make no mistake, this crash is likely not over yet, but it will end and Bitcoin will move back to the upside. Today, I'm going to give you as much information as I possibly can about why this correction is occurring, where it will bottom out and where Bitcoin will go after it is over. And most importantly, how we can profit from this movement. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Over the course of the 2023 and 2024 bull market, Bitcoin has gone through no fewer than five major crashes. Each one of those crashes has been roughly 20% in size. Let's hit them with the facts, Jack. Here in February of 2023, Bitcoin would drop about 20%. Moving forward into the later part of 2023 in April, we would go on to drop 20% once again. Later on here in July, we would drop about 21%. And then here in January of 2024, immediately after the Bitcoin ETFs launched, Bitcoin would drop 20% once again. This was the largest dollar value drop thus far on Bitcoin, totaling a $9,900 correction. The drop that we are experiencing right now on Bitcoin Bitcoin so far has totaled about 23% and it has been a $17,000 drop. We have not seen a $17,000 drop since the correction that we saw back here in May of 2022, where we dropped $19,000 in as much time. Why is that so important? Well, because it is a deviation from the trend. Over the course of the last five corrective movements, Four of them have been 20% in size. That's been the trend, a 20% corrective movement. We have now corrected 23%, and it looks like we may correct between 25 and 35% in total. We could drop as low as $47,000, which would be our next major level of support after 55 was breached. So why then is Bitcoin dropping farther now than we have seen so far in this bull market? Two reasons. Number one, the Fed. You see, inflation has been sticky, sitting here at 3.5%, and the Federal Reserve was projected and indeed did keep interest rates the same at five and a quarter to five and a half in a range. That meeting occurred yesterday on Monday, May the 1st, and it means that the interest rates have not changed, and based on Jerome Powell's statements, they're probably not going to change for a while. The reason for that is because the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates so high to counteract that sticky inflation that they're trying to get under control. Since it's not moving, the Fed's not either. This is important because in the December meeting, Jerome Powell and the entire Federal Open Market Committee themselves showed us a poll stating that they believed that by the end of 2024, we would see at least one interest rate drop of 25 basis points. So far, it doesn't look like we're going to see one this year at all, which is a deviation from what the market had expected. That is leading the S&P 500 into a correction. As you can see, the S&P 500 has been dropping over the course of this week and is likely to drop even farther as a result of this bear flag that is painting very similar to what we just saw on Bitcoin and the fact that 480 is our price target for this bear flag. 480 happens to be the previous all-time high on the United States stock market, and so there is is a very high possibility that we will be seeing a further drop from here. The reason that relates to Bitcoin is because Bitcoin is a market that follows the S&P 500 very, very closely. The S&P 500 will be correcting because the CFOs and financial planners the world over in major corporations were planning on getting cheaper cost of capital for the loans that they take out. The interest rates not going down means they're going to have to pay the same. They were expecting to pay less on the interest on the loans that they will be taking out for business expansion and operations. With the S&P 500 going down, that means that Bitcoin is likely to do the same. But that's not the only reason. On a side note, CZ, Chengping Zhao, the founder and former CEO of Binance Worldwide, was sentenced to four months in prison. This is much better than his three-year possible sentence that was being pushed for by prosecutors, but he ended up getting four months nonetheless, and that has seemed to have some bearish impact on the market. Finally, over the last several days, Bitcoin has been breaking bearish out of this bear flag, and we even broke below $60,000 yesterday on Wednesday. This indicates that a drop down to $55,000 and potentially even lower may be coming very soon, making this the largest crash in the history of this bull market. But you know what would be an even worse crash? If the hardware wallet that you were using to store your Bitcoin crashed. That's why we brought on Uphold and their new service, Vault, as a sponsor to this channel. That's because they have a proprietary assisted key replacement service, which allows you to be secure in your security. The way it works is that you have two keys that you have to use to unlock your vault, and should you lose one of them, Uphold can replace the lost key. This essentially works very similar to how you would have hard drive backups of different files, like pictures or 
photographs or videos. If you've got a hard drive on your laptop with all of your pictures and one in a safe and one in a safety deposit box, if one fails, you can use the other to regenerate the one that failed. And that is what Uphold has built through Vault. And if you sign up with the link in the description box down below, you will be getting access to this world-class technology to keep you safe from losing your Bitcoin to all manner of things that can destroy your hard drive, all the while keeping 24-7 instant trading access, eliminating the cold storage versus hot storage debate that's been going on for 10 years. In this case, you can have cold storage with a backup key to protect yourself and have instant access to the exchange. Check out Vault with the link in the description box down below. All right, but why is this crash so significant for Bitcoin? Again, it's different. We've never seen a crash this large on Bitcoin in this bull market, and it leads me to the conclusion that this market is moving in one of two directions. Either one, we could be seeing a a much larger correction down to $47,000, which we've been talking about for a while, or two, this could be the first steps towards this market becoming a much more healthy bull market. What do I mean by that? Well, thus far this year and last, Bitcoin has pretty much done nothing but moonshot. It has essentially completely rallied the entire time. This is great and we like it, but it's not necessarily the most healthy thing for Bitcoin to do. Bitcoin needs a corrective movement, and it needs it to be even bigger than what we've already seen. It needs it to be a few months longer and maybe a few thousand dollars deeper. Part of the reason for that is because so far we have built a one, two, three, and now we're building a four and five Elliott impulse wave structure. For this structure to play out and for Bitcoin to have its leg on up towards $100,000 or so, we need to have this large corrective movement very akin to what we saw back here in summer of last year. It is critical that Bitcoin is able to flag out and lock in all of these gains that we built ever since September of 2023 when Bitcoin was trading at $25,000. In other words, this crash being larger than anything we've ever seen before is not something that I am concerned about. In fact, I am considering it one of the most healthy things that Bitcoin could do. You see, we treat Bitcoin like a marathon runner sometimes, and we think, oh, it's just supposed to be able to run a marathon every single day, nonstop. I would applaud that runner for taking a month off from any kind of physical conditioning if they had been running for a year and a half straight, which is what Bitcoin is doing. It will be better for that runner in the long run to take a short sabbatical and correct, if you will, the damage that all of that running had done to their body. In the same way, Bitcoin needs time to consolidate and correct and rest. Everything in creation is designed to have a period of rest. And when you take that from it, it stops functioning altogether. It's just like us. If we don't take a Sabbath, if we don't rest, then heart disease, cancer, bankruptcy, fatigue, depression, anxiety, all kinds of things will force us to rest, but not on our own terms. I want Bitcoin to rest, and so this correction is one of the best things that could happen for it. And the key insight that this leads me to making is that should we continue through this correction, I am even more confident than ever before that a $100,000 Bitcoin is coming this year or even maybe early next because Bitcoin took the rest that it needed. What should we be doing right now? Here's what we ought to do. We ought to be continuing to set up dollar cost average investments in assets that we reasonably expect will appreciate in value over time, especially assets like the United States stock market or Bitcoin or Ethereum. I have an extremely high amount of confidence that all three of those assets and markets that I just listed will be worth more in five years than they are now. They might be down a year from now. They might be down two years from now, but you give it five years, half a decade. Sounds like a long time. It's really not. Every single one of them, I almost guarantee you, about 99% guarantee you that they will be worth more than they are right now. So build out your dollar cost averaging position. Consider putting a little bit of your cash in, but always remember to never deploy all of your cash because the market can always go lower and ensure that you're investing for the long run because that is one of the laws of money and it is ultimately how you build wealth. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content. Can't wait to see you in Coffee and Crypto's live stream chat as well. We're going to wrap it out, but before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.